reached out for my dreams. I reached out for my vision. I reached out for help that I thought I needed. Cause reaching out, reaching out is the proof of passion. Hello again, our most valued student. My name is Confident. Welcome to our lesson today on the introduction to the laws of logarithms. In this lesson, we are going to look at the basic laws of logarithms as they are applied in your mathematics in N3. Let us start by looking at the first law, law number one. It says log base of A. That A there is a base of the log. So it's log base of A of XY. So if they're saying x, y, it means between x and y, there is a dot. In other ways, there is a multiplication sign. So log base of a of x times y is the same as log base of a of x plus log base of a of y. So what are they saying? For example, suppose you are given log base of 2 of 3 times, I'll put a dot, 3 times y. This is the same as saying log in base of 2 of 3 plus, because of the time sign, you introduce a positive sign, plus log base of 2, you maintain the base now of y. So that is how they are applying that particular law. The most important thing that you must remember is that when there is a multiplication sign between the two, you are going to introduce a positive sign between the logs. So that is the law, the first law. Now the second law is similar to the first law. The only difference now is the negative sign. It says log base of A of X over Y. In other words, X divided by Y is the same as log base of A of X minus log base of A of Y. Now the most uh, simple thing that I always tell students to remember is when you see the division sign, it is equal or it is similar to the uh, negative sign between the logs. So, for example, if they give you log base of 4 of 6 over x, this is the same as saying log, you maintain the same base of 4 of 6 because if it's a division sign you put a negative log you maintain the base of 4 of x so that how you apply the second law so that is law number two let us look at law number three law number three says if you are given log in base of a of x to the power of n is the same as log is the same as n log base of a to the power x so what are they trying to say let me give an example suppose you are given log in base 2 of x to the power 4 now what they are trying to say is whenever you are given a power 4 this power 4 it will drop down to become the number before the log so in this case it will become a 4 first so this it will become a 4 first so we've got the 4 there and then you write your log same maintain the same base base of 2 of x so that is the part now the most important thing again to note in that law is remember the 4 was the power in this case before it was the power of x so you drop that that you drop that x I mean, you drop that power, which in this case was the 4 before the log. It can work in either direction. You can take the 4 back or you can take the 4 before the log. That is a very important law that they always try to, to check if ever you understand that law. Now, let us move on to look at the next law. Now, we are looking at law number 4. Number 4 says log in base of A of B is the same as log in base of C of B over log in base of C of A. Now, this law is very important whenever you want to change the basis. For example, you are starting with base A, but you are ending with base C. Let me make an example. Suppose you are given log in base 5 of 2. Now, you want to change this to log base 3. So, how do you change? You, you write your log base 3 
over log base 3. Remember, this is the new base that you're trying to introduce. Now, the 2, you write it on top, and the 5, you write it below. So what you have done is you have changed from base 5, now you are with base 3. Now, I want to show you something again about this law. Suppose they also give you log, let me use instead a different, um, let me erase that, let me use a different pen. Let's say they give you log, log A, log in base A of B. Now you want to change that to log base B. So you are going to have log base B over log base B. Now the B is on top. It will be log base B of B and the A is below. It is the log base B of A. So that is how you can change that. But you are going to see later that this is not the end of that. There is a reason why we are doing that and we will capture it in the next part. Let us first look at the other laws. If I can erase that. Now we are left with the, just a few law. Law number two, I mean law number five. Now with law number five, it says, what are we given with law number five? It says log base of A of A is equal to one. Very important law also. It's log in base of A of A is equal to one, meaning log in base of two of two is equal to one. Log in base of any number, it can be 10, but the moment you repeat that number, you get a 1. So now let us go back to that example that I brought. I say suppose you are given log base of A of B and you want to change it to base B. So now using law number 4 and 5 together, you will have, you want to change it to log B, you will have log in base of B over log in base of b now the b the first b is on top and the a is below i always say sometimes picture it as a i mean b over a but that's not how it is but you can try to picture it like that so that the b is on top and the a is below but there's something interesting now that you're noting if you can see you'll find that now this links us back to the first law which i mean to the fifth law log base b of b is the same as log a of a now this one gives us a what a one over log base b of a so basically that is how this law can be used to advantage you can continue mixing log i mean law four and law number five now i want to also make you aware of this because most of the time students sometimes they get confused with these laws and I need you to be very 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 careful now if I'm given for example log I'm taking this one log base C of B of B okay over log base C of A and then someone will be tempted now to use the second law remember the second law says when there is a division sign you subtract so you find someone saying this is same as log base C of B minus log base C of A so this is not correct remember it mustn't have two logs. You can see there is a log on top, there is a log below. But for you to apply the negative, it must have one log, which is log B over A is equal to log B minus log A. So this is where you can only apply the law, second law, whereby there is only one log, but there is B over A. Then you can apply the law, but the top one, you cannot apply the law in that case because there is a lock on top and the lock below so the law does not apply to that and also just to give you something that can always help you or to remind you if ever you are not given any base as you can see here 
I'm not given, I didn't write any base, I just said log b over a. So always, if you're not given any base, there's always a 10. So always, if you're not given any base, there's a default 10. So you must always know that if I'm not given any base, it means there is a default 10 that I must always remember. Now let us move on to look at the law number 6. Or actually, just to continue with law number 5, it says lin e of e. Now you must remember this means it's, it's, it's 1. This is same as log lin e is same as log e is equal to lin. Just remember that log e is equal to lin. In other ways, what is the base of lin? The base of lin is e. So log e is equal to lin. So if I say log e of 2 is the same as lin 2. But remember, by default, lin, the base of lin is 2. I mean, it's an e. So it's lin e of 2. So now, using the, first, the, the fifth law, just like log a of of base a is equal to 1 so if someone if someone write lin e this is equal to 1 why because the e is also a default e that is hidden so you can see you've got two e's that becomes a 1 now let us move on to the last one of our law that is law number 6 in this case if you look at law number 6 it says log a of 1 is equal to 0. This is also one law that people must not forget or you mustn't forget because they always try to trick you with that law. So any number, any base of 1 is 0. In other ways, if I say log base of 15 of 1 is equal to a 0 or log base of x of 1 is equal to a 0. So the base doesn't matter as long as there is a 1, then that is equal to a 0. So these are basically the laws of logarithms that I will encourage you to practice. But um, there is a follow-up session or follow-up lesson of this. That is where we are now applying these laws of logarithms. Now we have come to the end of our lesson. Join us again on the second lesson of the application or of the uh, way we are going to be using these log of, laws of log logarithms as they are always apply it in your exam. Thank you. I for my dreams. I reached for my vision. I reached for help that I thought I needed. Cause reaching out, reaching out is the proof of passion.